On February 5th, 2002, Robert Picton was taken into custody by a Vancouver police task force who had found personal items on his pig farm from a woman who had disappeared. There were no other clues aside from the missing belongings, such as a prescription inhaler and other items. In other words, enough evidence to hold him but not enough for a solid conviction. Prosecutors needed more evidence, so on February 23, 2002, they sent one of their best undercover officers to pose as an inmate to try to get Robert to confess his actions. Robert hadn't had a friend in a long time and was more than willing to swap stories with what he thought was a fellow like-minded psycho. What he revealed was absolutely horrifying. The undercover officer leads the conversation by saying the ocean is the best way to get rid of the past away. Roberts is quick to correct him. I find the best way to dispose of something is taking the ocean. And even that, that with CCTV cameras rolling overhead, the undercover officer gets Robert Picton to admit something he had not said to the detective in years. The reason they weren't able to find any of the passed away was because he had put them through meat processing equipment and most likely fed them to his pigs. When the undercover agent tries to get him to say more about what he's done, Robert gives us a glimpse into what a person like him thinks of the people whose lives he's taken. <laughs> What's most terrifying of all about this is how they were nothing more to him than a number. He sees no individuality, nothing to make them human or set them apart. They are all the same to him, a number that he wants to make even for his own selfish satisfaction. Robert Picton might have gotten away with all 50 acts if not for the self-incriminating testimony which was used against him. On December 11, 2007, he was sentenced to life behind bars. He decided not to make a statement upon being sentenced. I guess he felt like he had already said enough. Solo Ambush is the name of a YouTuber who goes to an old abandoned Malaysian theme park that's haunted on Facebook Live. Sini sehingga pukul satu setengah, dia tengok lah, ada respon. Solo Ambush believes the camera went out of focus from trying too hard to focus on a ghost, which does seem to make a doll fall to the ground. As the doll moves, a red orb goes behind the tree. To me, this compelling paranormal evidence probably means this park is almost definitely haunted. It's about 4.30 in the morning when a ring doorbell camera motion sensor goes off. There's some weird lights in the corner, but most Chills fans know by now that this is simply a spiderweb strand swinging back and forth in front of the camera. Even Lexus V says so in the description of this video. But with that said, I have no idea what happens next. A strange light appears at the window that they've never seen before and have never been able to explain since. The bizarre object hangs around long enough to make his dog go crazy. Another reason I think this video is real. There's no faking that kind of reaction from a dog. That animal knows something out there is a big threat. But what is it? Thank you so much for getting me to 20,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 30,000 subscribers next. Thank you.